the formidable robot. Have you ever been so confused at what you watched, that you weren't entirely certain it was real? For context, this was around late 2010 to 2011, and I was around 9 when I saw this episode, so some details are a little hazy. From what I do remember though, there was a promotion for a supposed lost episode that was to be aired later that day. Needless to say, as energetic as I was during my younger years, hearing about a new Spongebob episode was pretty exciting. After eating dinner with my family, I ran to the living room, where I would sit down in front of the television to watch the new Lost episode. When it cut back from a commercial break, the Lost episode was just simply the walk cycles seen from the sponge who could fly. Needless to say, I wasn't exactly satisfied, given that I didn't know that it was April Fool's Day and seeing this instead of a brand new episode was pretty disappointing, at least at the time. I wish that was the case. As I continued to watch the episode, Spongebob was in the middle of one of the walk cycles when he just stopped, with all of the music used for the segment cutting out. I looked around to see if my brother accidentally hit the remote or something, but when I looked around, he wasn't there, with the remote on the couch, resting on top of the armrest. I looked back at the TV and saw this. Yeah, having Spongebob's face disappear during the middle of an episode would have been terrifying enough at the time, but it didn't end there. The audio for the original episode then began to play, until at a certain point, I think maybe a minute. I can't exactly recall. It began to stutter, and then devolve into a loud blaring screech. The closest I can think of to what I heard is probably that wee console breaking sound. After that, the screen cut to black. I'm not sure if the screen bug for the episode either disappeared by this point or just wasn't there throughout the episode, but I specifically remember noticing it not being there. This is the part where it gets a little hazy, since it has been a few years since I first saw it. I asked my brother years after this happened, and after saying that it was a surreal experience, he told his side of the story. From what my brother recalls, he walked into the living room to watch some stuff on Cartoon Network, since he was bored and didn't really have much to do at the moment. After walking into the living room, he spotted me right in front of the TV. Before he was about to tell me off for staring so close at the TV, the episode cut back to show a grayscale view of Spongebob Patrick and Squidward's houses from a bird's eye view. Music started to play at this point, which was a slow melancholic piece. As the music played, it cut to the exterior, then the interior of Patrick's house, still in complete grayscale. Patrick was sat on the sand couch, appearing to watch something on a sand television with a blank expression. It then cut to the television, which displayed nothing but a black screen. After cutting back to Patrick, the sound of the house opening and closing could be heard. Though Patrick didn't move away from the couch or acknowledge anyone coming in, it stayed like that for a while until we spotted something rising from behind the couch. It was Spongebob, and the only character in the episode that had any color at all. Though this didn't appear like the normal sponge, as he had a much darker palette, and had no mouth with two completely white eyes. After Spongebob rose from behind the couch, the episode cut to black again and showed the technical difficulties screen. After a while of this, it cut back to a bumper, which showed the April Fools scene from Fools in April, saying that it would air the real episode at a later time. Something along those lines. After that episode aired, me and my brother both looked at each other in both confusion and decided that maybe that would be enough television for that day and turned the TV off to head to bed. Years later, as I'm typing this, I'm not sure what exactly the episode was supposed to imply, if it implied anything at all. From what I can presume, it was a hijacking of some kind. Though who or what was exactly behind said hijacking is not entirely known. We could not find anything about the supposed episode, the event, or anything related to the hijacking, even searching through old forums didn't turn anything up. I'm not sure if what just happened was too obscure to be noticed by anyone or if there was something else going on. Either way, I'm at least glad that I didn't get to experience what I just saw ever again.